Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Happy May. It's my birthday month. If you're watching this part of the video, you are watching the pre replay. So just let me know that you watched the replay by hashtagging replay in the comments. And I can thank you guys for watching. I am doing a giveaway this month. So it's going to go through the whole month of May because it's my birthday month. So for every video that you share and every pharmacy post that you share of mine through the month of May, I will be keeping track of. And what will end up happening is at the end of the month, I'm going to just pull a winner. I will do like a little... Um, I don't know, like name and a hat, pull a winner, and you guys will earn or win a little something special from me, free of charge, of course, um, as a little thank you, and just to celebrate my birthday month and giving back to you guys. So if you're popping on, say hey. I cannot believe we finally hit May. I never thought it was going to come, guys. My birthday's in nine days. Well, technically, I guess eight, but um, so, yeah. I was supposed to leave for Disney on Thursday. That's obviously not happening anymore. Woo! Sorry. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff out and ready. I should have done that before I popped on, but I'm always a hot mess express. <clears throat> so everybody's having a nice day so far. Let me know what the weather's like where you are. Hey, Laura! It's baby month! Woo! You must be so excited. I think I'm going to do some BB cream today. Something easy, something everyone can use. Hey Paige! Uh, that's whatever. So in the comments, drop where you're watching from. Let me know what you're up to. I'm sure most people are gonna say not very much unless you guys have been able to work. But let me know. So I just got out of the shower and blow dried my hair. So I just want to, before I even start my makeup, throw on some face cream for the day. I just use a little bit of my calendula face cream before I throw on makeup. Um, it just kind of keeps my skin super hydrated because I have very dry skin. My skin's been kind of weird the last couple days. So I want to make sure that it just stays hydrated. So guys, I was so excited last night, midnight hit. I hit my 15% bonus with pharmacy. I am so excited. If you guys don't know what pharmacy is, it is a MLM company that sells pretty much everything. Um, it follows European standards, so there are no harmful chemicals in their um, products as well but we have like makeup skincare body care um we have a line for men we have a line for babies we have toothpaste we have foot care we have nail care we have hair care we have like everything we have perfumes i just ordered two perfumes guys i can't wait to try them um so we have like all the things so the company actually originated in europe it's called pharmacy like know where you get medicine but it's spelled f-a-r-m-a-s-i and that's because the founder of the company was an actual medical doctor and he did like partake in all the formulas of the stuff all the products so what that means is that a doctor helped create the products that i'm using meaning that odds are they're safe for your body so that's awesome as well so I just went in with my VFX Pro camera ready strobe cream primer. All the words are not one. And it is a wicked nice primer. If you have dry or normal skin or even sensitive, this is great. Um, it helps hydrate your skin. If your skin's like super excess, like oily, we do have a primer for you for that as well. So this is the purple primer. I tell people when they're ordering online and they're looking for this one. Um, purple primer is the cream and then the silver one is the regular primer. It's more of like a jelly-like substance. Um, I don't have it because I have super dry skin, but that's what I would recommend for anybody oily. So we're gonna do some BB cream. Just keep it easy and quick today. Um, it's like yucky and rainy and like, pfft. so like, you know, we're just gonna keep it easy and simple. So I did link my 
website in the comments. I didn't do that for all of April, but I had quite a few people asking me for my website link. So I figured I will put it here. Do not feel obligated to buy anything. Um, not necessarily doing my makeup here to try to sell anything right now with everything going on in the world. I just feel very uncomfortable. Um, kind of like making money off of people that might be struggling right now. So I always like to put that out there because a lot of people disagreed with what I was doing by not like promoting pharmacy last month. And I mean, crazy enough, I hit the biggest promotion ever with, I guess, you know, taking into consideration other people, um, which was awesome. But new month, I got new goals for myself. And yeah. Hey, Lana, how are you? So this is just a BB cream, guys. This is a tinted moisturizer. Um, typically, a tinted moisturizer, you don't get as much coverage as you get with this. Um, I've tried quite a few. And I get the best coverage with this out of the BB creams that I've tried and used in the past. Um, I find that it has better coverage. So if you're looking for something that's just kind of very light on your face, but you're still going to have like enough coverage to pretty much consider it like a foundation. Thank you, Alana. Um, yeah, if you um, just like that light, like really like no makeup feeling on your face, I would highly suggest either the BB cream or the CC cream. The CC cream will give you a bit more coverage than the BB cream, but like you saw that I had like several blemishes on my face and the BB cream covered them completely, which is amazing. <laughs> So, I always, I don't know, I always steer, like, closer to, like, using BB and CC creams with this company than I even use their foundations, even though their foundations are amazing. Because, like, the BB cream and CC cream are just, like, so easy to use, if that makes any sense to you guys. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, it's just, like, an easy, quick, like, rub on and go. Where, like, I feel like foundations themselves like kind of take a little bit longer to throw on, but like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but that's how I kind of feel with this. I'm just like, it's just so easy. And then I do have rosacea, so if I find that like I got a little bit of pinkness coming through, it is buildable. Hey, Lazy! So I can just like add a little bit more to it and it's still not gonna give me that cakey look or um, like that weird like feeling on your face when you have like too much makeup on your face it doesn't do that which is really nice and what I really like about it so I'll show you I just added a little drop I'm gonna put it on that like rosy part of my cheek still which I mean I'm used to having a little bit of redness come out just because of my rosacea but like I have very uneven patchy skin because of it, and it just smooths it all out. So, again, I'll just like to put it, like, right here. This is where, like, the most redness is. And it just evens out that skin tone just, like, the perfect amount. And it's just a tint of moisturizer. So, guys, like, this is a semi-matte finish, so it's... It doesn't leave like any type of greasiness on your face, but it feels hydrating. So it almost feels as though you put like a, a moisturizer on and just like moved on with your day. And like, look at that coverage. It's amazing. So, um, 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 I gotta organize this guys. I need to organize this so bad. There's stuff everywhere just all thrown in a bucket right now all right so I'm gonna throw on some brows before I do the rest of my face just because I feel like it's easier to get like I don't know I feel like it's easier to contour when you see where your brows are I don't know that might just me be me but um this is so hard I don't like the new mirror I bought guys and I tell you guys last week after one of my live videos my mirror fell right off the ledge of where it was and just broke. I'm like, great. We're already in a pandemic and now I'm getting seven years of bad luck. 
but the new mirror that I bought, I'm like, mm, not the biggest fan of. Like the actual like circumference of it is too small. So this is my old one that's handheld because I broke that too. Broke the stand anyway. So that's just kind of what I've been using. So I'm using the Express um, eyebrow pencil from pharmacy today. I find that if you're new to doing your brows, this or even the brow gel would be the two easiest products for you to use. I oh, brow gels right here. I might go in with this on like the tips of or the ends of my brows and I'll show you. The brow brow gel or like brow mascara, whatever you want to call it. Definitely, um, hey Courtney. Definitely is probably the easiest to use if like you've never done your brows but you're not looking to like go any like do anything crazy with them. Um, but if you're looking to, like, shape them a bit while you're, you know, doing your makeup, go with a pencil. I find that it's much easier to use for, like, newbies than, like, a pomade, like, where you dip and use a brush. Because um, you kind of have more, like, almost like a full control over what you're doing, you know? So. So I go like that. And I kind of don't fill in the very beginning. And then what I can do is I can go in with my brow gel or brow mascara. I'm so used to saying gel just because it's like a gel. But it's on like a mascara wand. And then I just simply brush like up. And then I'll do the same on the side. Now my brows are not the same shape, which is super annoying because like these hairs on this side don't stand up like this side. It's just like really weird. So I try to brush them up and I did use too much. Like I didn't like the wand, woo wand up enough, wand enough. So like I'll just go with like a dry spoolie, clean one and just kind of brush through that. And then just like wipe off the excess. It happens. Easy fix. Hey Nicolette. New month, girl. You ready to crush it? So, yeah. I just like to brush up a little bit and just kind of, I don't know. It makes, I feel like it makes it look a little bit nat more natural. I'm going to fix up here because I obviously smeared it. Good times. But, yeah, it's so annoying because my brows are just not the same shape at all. Not the same shape at all. It's so frustrating. It's actually not even that they're the same shape. Like, the hairs just don't even grow the same way. Which is just crazy to me. There you go. Where did I put that? That is not what I'm looking for. All right, I'll just use this again. Hot Mess Express. Always a Hot Mess Express. Home until after June 30th now. I'm waiting on a package from... Now I bought a bunch of stuff like two weeks ago. Just patiently waiting. Yeah, so what I heard was shipping, and it's driving me bazonkers. Is... So... If you guys all, I guess I should just put this out there. Um, pharmacy right now, because they are still like packaging packages and everything like that. They have like strict protocol for all their employees. Every employee has to be, you know, have their temperature taken every day before they come in. They're in like a full like body suit type of thing. They're completely protected, gloves, mask, everything. But because of that and just everything... I mean, the USPS is just, like, bumping right now. Like, everybody in there, like, their mom is having to, like, order stuff online and everything. <clears throat> excuse me. And everything. So, unfortunately for not just pharmacy but a lot of different companies, things are just taking so much longer. So, pharmacy actually made a contract with DHL and... Sorry. Random scam call from Nashville. <laughs> Um, they made a contract with DHL and USPS. We typically only use FedEx. Whoa, I squeezed that. Okay, that, 
that's not cool. We're just going to like leave you there. <laughs> um, to try to get like outside sources to help with shipping. But what's ending up happening is like DHL is just being a butt and they're like not able to get things done. So then they're giving them back to USPS and FedEx. It's just like a whole mess right now. So we've been telling everybody to be super patient with like shipping because it's like totally out of pharmacy's hands. It's out of our hands. It's out of everybody's hands. Like even USPS and FedEx, like everybody's just trying to do their best. So, um, I've been trying to tell all my customers that like typically it's seven to 10 days. It may or may not take longer. It may or may not be quicker. I don't really know. Um, but I know like the warehouse even is taking longer to fulfill orders just because there's so much more that has to go into people getting into work. If that makes sense. I think that was a lot longer of an explanation than needed to. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm hoping things will get to everybody soon. I have like three different packages coming because like I needed to get toothpaste so I grabbed toothpaste um I think I grabbed two things of toothpaste and then I ended up buying I needed something else I forget what else and then yesterday I finally ordered a perfume I don't know why I just felt like treating myself but um yeah so I have like three different packages coming I have heard if you're putting in bigger orders Try doing it in two, even though you're going to obviously pay a little bit more in shipping. Um, the smaller orders are being fulfilled quicker for some reason, which I don't really understand how, but I don't know. I've heard that could be a good trick. I don't know. All right, we're going to contour the face now that these brows have taken me far too long to do. Hey, Elaine. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Shelby. So... I like to go in, yeah, I'm showing my mirror instead of my 3-in-1 palette. This is like my all-time fave, guys. You guys probably know that by now. It's like the one thing if someone was looking for like a full face type of product, like this is what you need because you get your like contour, your highlight, and your blush all in one. So easy. So, um, I'm obsessed with it <laughs> to say the least. It's just like the best. It's like the best way to save money and everything. Like I get all three contour, highlight, and blush. And full price, it's under $20. The products are safe. Hey, Christina. They're safe for your, you know, your body. They're not gonna, there's no harmful gunk in it. And... I mean, under 20 bucks for literally a contour, a blush, and a highlighter. Like, that's unheard of. Like, even from Walmart, like, it's unheard of. I just bought it. I'm super excited to get it in the mail. I'm telling you, it will not disappoint. It will not disappoint. I thought that the contour would be too dark for me at first, too. Um, that was, like, my first thing when I ordered it and I got it. I was like, ooh, that's a little, like, too dark for me. But it's so easy to blend that, like, I can make it work on my skin tone. So if you have, like, super fair, like, pale skin like me, um, and you look at it and you're like, ooh, it's too dark, um, it's so blendable that I don't think you'll have an issue, if I'm being honest. So I like to just kind of go through my jawline. I do my cheekbones and then I highlight my forehead. So anywhere where you contour, I just said highlight my forehead, but I meant contour my forehead. <laughs> um, anywhere you contour makes like that part of your face or body, whatever you're contouring look smaller. So this will define your cheekbones, kind of slim out your face. Um, when you do your jawline, it kind of slims out your jawline. Um, if you got double, triple chins like I do, it kind of hides them. Um, so if you have a larger forehead, you want to contour more on your forehead. If you have a small forehead, you want to highlight more. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second with my concealer. Um, I just realized I didn't do concealer yet. Typically I would do concealer first and then a contour, but like I told you guys, I'm just a hot mess express. So, um, I think that was what I ordered my concealer cause I'm running out of that. 
So you go in with a concealer and you, whatever you want to make like look bigger or more like bold, you want to do lighter. So I like to go in with a concealer under my eyes because it makes your eyes pop. It look, makes you look more awake. Um, and there are more times than not that I feel like I need to look more awake. So I go in with some concealer under there. And just kind of spread it out a bit so that, you know, it can be dragged down. Um, I do like to put just the slightest little bit on the center of my nose just to kind of thin out certain parts of my nose. So I do it like this. Um, I used to do the whole thing, but then it just looked like I had a line on my nose. So <laughs> I stopped doing that. And then I like to do it in here. And this kind of brightens up your forehead and just kind of gives that contrast on your face. You can do under your brows and kind of shape your brows with concealer. I'm not going to do that today. And then some people like to do it um, like on their chin. Just because it kind of shapes that face a little bit more. Or on like your Cupid's bow. If you don't know what that is, it's like the little bumps on your um, lip. I like to just go in there with a highlighter. I don't typically go in there with a concealer. Um, I did once upon a time, but I'm just going to go in with a brush and I think I'm just going to blend it with a brush today because I'm just bored and I wanted to get this done fast and try to find something to do with my life for the day. <laughs> Not that there's really much you can do, but I might organize something. I don't know what. So I just want to blend it out a bit. See what I just highlighted that area a little bit. I'm going to do the same under your eyes. I do find that with this concealer, you get a better coverage blending with a brush than a blending bud because the blending buds do pick up and like absorb some of the makeup, um, which isn't just this makeup. It's pretty much any makeup that you use, they'll do that with. So um, I do want to buy a new face brush because this one's prickly and I don't like when things that are prickly are touching my face because it like hurts, but um, these are not pharmacy brushes these are brushes that I got on Amazon for probably like 10 bucks so I guess you get what you pay for right so we just highlight under there it just makes everything look a little bit brighter there we go So now the highlighting and contouring is definitely a skip, a skip, a step you can skip if you don't really feel the need to do that. Um, I just like to do it because it kind of just makes me feel like I have like a enhancement on my face, I guess. Um, so I like to go in with that. I also like to go in with this little brush right here, which is technically an eyeshadow brush, but it works really great for me for um, my nose to contour. I used it the other day. Hey, Cassidy. I used it the other day for an eyeshadow, though, because I couldn't find my eyeshadow brush. I just wanted to clean that. Um, if you guys don't have one of these things, seriously invest in them if you use eyeshadows and stuff. It's like a, I don't even know what it's called, a color cleaner makeup brush thing. I got on Amazon for like a couple bucks, and my goodness, does it make a hell of a lot of a difference when you don't feel like cleaning your brushes with soap and water all the time. So I like to just contour the side of my nose. So what I do is I follow that like shadow. You guys can probably see it. I just follow that. I don't change what that looks like at all. Just kind of add to it and it just kind of slims it down. Which is actually pretty cool. How's it going Cassidy? What have you been up to? And then I like to just take what's ever like left over and just kind of go like underneath here, like in front of where my nostrils are and just kind of like curve it. Just kind of helps with like the shape of your nose. And just blend it out so that you don't have those harsh lines. So what I will do is I'll also like just go with a big brush after to blend it out a bit more if need be. Sometimes I don't need to, sometimes I do. It just depends on how much product's on my brush. I'm one of those people that never taps off the product. 
on my brushes. I don't know why I don't do that. I just never have. I feel like it's like a new thing you have to teach yourself and it's just been too long. So I just don't. So I'll go with that. And then I use the same brush because like it's just what I do and I go in with a little bit of that highlighter. Go under my cheekbone here. <laughs> just watching you to actually know how to put on makeup. Girl, you should have seen me when I first started trying to put on makeup. I, oh my goodness, the amount of hours I spent on YouTube. You guys want to hear a funny story? Pretty quick. Um, the first time I ever tried to contour, I was doing it for dress rehearsal for dance. Um, you know, like the day or two before the recital, whatever it was, and... I studied and I studied and I studied different YouTube videos. I finally bought what I needed to buy to use. And of course, I went like to the drugstore and I bought like the L'Oreal. They were like foundation crayons was what they were called. And I bought them. And I'm just going to highlight it under my eyebrow. Um, I watched this video and like I colored my entire freaking face. So, like, mind you, I didn't use a foundation because I thought, like, bronzer would be fine as a foundation. So, bronzer was what was all over my face, right? So, now I have these concealer foundation sticks and I'm, like, freaking coloring, like, my whole face in. Like, there wasn't a spot showing of the bronzer, which I was using as a foundation. So, I color this whole thing and I have, like, all the lines, all the everything. I have, like, this old, like, makeup sponge, you know, like, the ones that are, like, slanted, like, a triangle. Like, I have that. That's what I'm using. And mind you, this was, like, a couple years ago. It was probably, like, six or seven years ago. And I'm just like, okay, I'll blend this out. This is going to be great. Well, the first time I tried it, I had done my whole face. So, by the time I tried to blend it, it had, like, literally, like... <laughs> It, like, dried before it even was able to be blended. So that was the first oops that I had stumbled upon with uh, contouring. And then I'm like, well, screw it. I, I have to get it right this time. Like, I'm running out of time. So I wipe it all off. I try again. And I use a little bit less. Now, like, the makeup sponge I was using, like, did not work. So I'm like, I'll just use, like, a brush. So now I'm, like, like trying to, like, blend this in. Still with bronzer as the foundation underneath. That was powder. Guys, I ended up just saying screwing it. I wiped it off again. Threw bronzer on my face. Had my friend pick me up. Um, one of the girls I danced with. And I finished my makeup in the car. Because after two times of really spending about an hour trying to contour my face. Um, I still looked worse than a clown looked. So, um... Yeah, that was my first time ever contouring, and I'm gonna not even lie to you guys, it was probably the last time I contoured for probably three or four years after that. Because I was just like, yeah, no, I, I can't do that. It just, it doesn't work. And that was, um, yeah, I wish I had taken pictures, guys, I really do. I thought I was gonna look, like, so good on stage, like, my makeup was gonna look so perfect, and, um, I'm pretty sure... that a clown would have looked better than I did. Where the heck did I put that brow pencil? Like, am I going crazy? I just wanted to fix one little spot. Just one little spot. If I had containers to organize this today. I would make this makeup box my uh, project, but I don't. It's on my card, on my wish list on Amazon. I'll use this instead. But yeah, that was, um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it was, um, oh, it was quite the, quite the experience that day. Hey, Brittany. Um, so yeah, good times. So I feel you with the whole trying to figure out how to do makeup thing because I have been there. I do think that a lot of it has to do with the makeup that you're using. Like if you're using crappy, ma like, um, makeup, I was some mascara. Uh, I feel like it's harder to do, you know? I'm going to use... What am I going to use this? 
And we're going to use that face palette for my eyeshadow as well. I'm going with a natural, neutral, easy look today. So we're going to go in with that contour color, which is like what you guys probably see me do like 9 out of 10 times. And just go in that crease with that. This is just going to create a shadow. It's going to just, you know, make your eye look like your eye. Um, I'm huge into just, you know, I guess accentuating what's already there. Um, versus alter like altering what's there on your face. Um, don't get me wrong, I love to do fun eyes every once in a while, but like for an everyday look, this is just the easiest thing. It's like one less thing you have to buy because it's you can use it for your face and your eyes. Hey Amanda, it's just so easy. So, you know, I do the face, I use the contour palette, and then I use that same contour palette for my eyes. And I'm one that loves to get, like, more for my buck. Um, super cheap. Um, <laughs> when it comes to having to buy things, like, if it's not on sale, I'm not going to buy it. So if I can get more than one use out of something, like, you bet your bottom dollar I'm going to do it, you know? Girl, I do too. You should see all the eyeshadow palettes I have. I don't even know where they ended up. They're not in this bucket right now. I have, like... You should see I have a makeup trunk and it's literally just full of eyeshadow. Like, majority of it is eyeshadow. There's, like, eyeshadow and just lipsticks. And, like, I don't typically use lipstick because I just don't like it. Um, like, if I'm going out, I will. But I don't typically wear a lipstick around the house unless it's my BB lipstick. And it's, like, a neutral color. I'll show you guys what I use. So it's, like, a matte finish. But it's like hydrating, so I feel like I'm just throwing on like a chapstick type of thing. And it's neutral. I'm just a very neutral person. I don't know. I'm like that with everything. Like even my clothes, like this is crazy to have a red on for me. Because like normally I'm in gray, white, or black. Those are the colors that I typically wear. So I'm going in still with that like bronzer color. And I just kind of blend it out so that it looks like a shadow. See how like, it just looks kind of like a shadow in my crease. I had to be blended a bit more. And then you can either leave it with like the, if you have like concealer or whatever on. I like to just put a powder on it. Um, I do have setting powder coming in the mail, so I'd probably just do that because the color is fine. It looks natural. But I have my um, Smashbox Full Exposure Palette that like I ended up buying for my cousin's wedding. Typically, I'd use a brush, but I'm just being lazy. Um, I did my cousin's makeup for her wedding, and I bought this for her wedding because it was, like, the perfect colors for, like, a neutral, like, pretty wedding look. And um, she told me I could keep it because she doesn't really do her makeup. So I was like, okay, cool. So I just used that, like, light color just to kind of set that concealer so it doesn't crease or anything. And, yeah. Um, let's see. We got to do some liner, some liner, and then some mascara, and then we're probably good. We did blush, we did the highlighter, we did contour. Yeah, we did, like, everything. We did all the things, and we'll obviously set it, which I should have bought more setting spray. It's the only thing I didn't buy, and I'm so bummed because I actually will be needing more soon. So... I like to curl my lashes. My lashes are super, super thin. Super, super thin. Super, super brittle. I will say I've been using the brow and lash serum that's on my website. And I have noticed a, like, a difference in length. I won't say that they look more full or feel more full. Um, I've only been using it for like a week and a half. And yeah. But I feel like my lashes look a little bit longer. I don't know if it's like a mind over matter thing. I don't know if they're actually longer yet. But I feel like they look like they are. And I should probably take a like before picture at some point in the near future. So that I can actually compare. But every time I say I'm going to do it, I forget. So. I like to curl my lashes. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to line the upper lash line with a black liquid liner my reasoning for that is it makes your lashes look more full so um if you go in 
and I'll show you guys the difference because in the last two videos I made I said I was gonna show you guys and then I got so like wrapped up and doing my like makeup routine totally forgot so I don't do a wing I just line very thin along my lash line and I sometimes will do it underneath too I'll do like <clears throat> excuse me this is my allergies guys this is ridiculous I spent one day outside this week I go like a third of the way and I know it looks really weird right now but I will throw on mascara and then I'll do the mascara first on this side to show you guys the difference because I always forget to do that so this mascara is the 3D effect. I have the Optimal Black coming in and I hear that one is like a balls, and it's like 10 bucks. So I got it with my discount for like five. So I'm pretty excited to use it. I'm not gonna lie. The mascaras are all buildable too, which is nice. They're very like thin, like the um, like the mascara itself is thin, so um, you don't get that like clumpy lumpiness if you uh, do like a second coat. Hey, Melinda, which I really like. Um, you should do a second coat while your lashes are still wet or tacky. Because if you do it once they dry, they do tend to get that, like, bally thickness on them. If that makes sense, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'll go with that. And then I'll just do, like, another coat because my lashes are super stubby. Who else is in the stubby lash club? Is anybody else watching in the stubby lash club or is it just me? And then when I do my second coat, guys, I don't do the full lash, I go from like halfway up and I drag up and that's kind of how I gain some more length. I don't gain much, but I gain some. So that's one eye. And we'll do the bottom lashes too so you guys can really see what the difference is. My stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. I don't know what to make for lunch. Maybe I'll make some egg salad. I haven't had that in a while. I'm weird. I only eat egg salad if I have bacon because it's like bacon and eggs. <laughs> and then I have to toast the bread. So it's really like having bacon, eggs, and like toast. So that's one eye, and this is with the liner on the top of my lashes, okay? See how it like look, you, it just like looks more full on my eye? I'll show you guys. Hey, Brooke. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like without that liner. Again, you saw I curled both my lashes. Everything, I did the same except for the liner. And I can just add the liner after, but I'll show you guys the difference. I'll actually put out there, too, that these lashes are a bit longer than these lashes. I don't know why. They've always, like, they just, like, work better with mascara. So this will really give you, like, a good idea of, like, what it does. And if you get mascara all over your face like I just did, it's okay. I'm going to teach you guys a trick on how to get rid of that without ruining your face makeup because, or your eye makeup. I do it all the time. Okay. I'll go in with the tips again. Does anybody else get mascara all over their face when they do it? Or is it just me? Because, like, I, I don't seem to ever fail at, like, getting mascara all over my face.
So take a spoolie, typically a clean one works best, and you just brush it and it comes off. Just make sure it's all the way dry because if it's not, it might leave a little bit of like a gray film. But yeah, just a little spoolie and just brush it right off and it comes right off. I might have to add a little bit of Did you guys see the difference? Like this doesn't look full. I mean, this one doesn't look full and this one does. So that's kind of like the difference a liner will do for you guys. I might screenshot this while I'm just sitting here. Super weird. <laughs> But I figured it would be a good time to screenshot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna throw on a liner on this side so I don't forget. I just wanna brush these out a bit. Throw on the liner because it does make a super difference. There we go. And that, my friends, is my makeup of the day. Super easy, super natural. It's super natural. Yeah, I just threw myself back into like the 90s. It's fine. All right, I can take my hair out of my clips now. Oh. So yeah, um, if you watch, thank you for watching. Make sure that you guys share this video if you want to be entered to win a um, free gift from me at the end of the month. I'm going to be doing this all month long, so any post you see pharmacy related on my Facebook, feel free to share it, and you'll be entered to win a free, I don't know what yet. I'm not sure what I want to gift, but it's my birthday month, so I figured do something cool. Could be a mascara, maybe it'll be the 3-in-1 palette. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. So, setting spray, my favorite, smells so good, works so well. I always like to try to spray here because if I throw in a sweatshirt, which I typically do, um, the hood kind of sits there and I don't want it to rub off. I've never had an issue with transfer of makeup on my sweatshirts. Like, I wear white ones to work and, like, I'm more concerned about the kids getting paint on it than my makeup. So, um, if anybody has any questions on anything, feel free to reach out. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. Have, have a good weekend. If I don't pop on, I don't know. I'm, I just for the moment do things. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.